Hello and welcome to my video, How to Use Grammarly on Windows. Now this lecture is specific to Windows, although I would imagine things run similarly on Mac OS, on iPhones, and on iPads. Grammarly is an AI-based grammar checker that will allow you to remove spelling, grammar, punctuation, usage, and style errors from your writing. I'm going to begin by looking at how to get a copy of Grammarly and install it. And then I'll look at how it works, which is a little different than it worked in the good old days. To begin, I'm going to go to an incognito window so that I'm not logged in. And you go to Grammarly, that's G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com. And you'll be presented with information about Grammarly. Here you can go and you can read about it. You can get examples of what it does and so on. So check it out. Now, when you're ready to pick up a copy of Grammarly, you just check on sign up. It's free. And this will ask you to sign up into Grammarly. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to jump over to my account and show you what it looks like once you're signed up. Here I am logged into my account on Grammarly. And here I can actually run Grammarly as a web-based app. So I can actually write and uh, do grammar checking online with the Grammarly app. Now let me show you what you'll run into as far as installation. You can do a Windows installation, or you can do a Chrome installation, or Grammarly for iPhone or iPad or Android. Now. You don't have to install both Grammarly for Windows and Grammarly for Chrome if you're running on Windows. Grammarly will work in Chrome and all applications on Windows just by installing it on Windows. So go ahead and pick this uh, option to install Grammarly on Windows. Now let's go over and take a look at the Grammarly versions. Here you can see that these are the plans for Grammarly. There's a free plan, which gets you most of the stuff that you want, and then there's a pro plan, which I have because I write a lot and use Grammarly all the time in all my applications. So this is just $12 a month if you buy yearly to be able to run the full pro version of Grammarly. It's your choice. I recommend you at least get the free account. Now, running Grammarly online is useful, but what's even more useful is running it as a on Windows in all applications. So here you have Grammarly online, and it's highlighting words that it's questioning, and it's giving you solutions over on the right. I don't use this at all. Let's jump over to our desktop, and I'll show you how Grammarly works in Word. Now, once again, in the olden days, you used to have to uh, add a Grammarly add-on to Word to be able to run it in Word. Now, Grammarly runs in all applications on Windows. Here I am in Word, and Grammarly is running. You can see it down in the lower right-hand corner. It's accumulating the number of errors that I have in this document. Now, there's two ways to use Grammarly. One is to just go here and look for the highlighted words, put your cursor over the word, and Grammarly will give you a suggestion. You can either select it, so here it's saying I need a comma before flipping, or I can dismiss it and it will go away. If I select it, here it's saying he took pride in rather than gloated over. If I like that, I just click on the selection and it does the replacement for me. Now, the other way to run Grammarly is to come down here to the little Grammarly icon that shows me the number of errors I have in my document and click on it. Grammarly will show me all of the errors one at a time. Now, this box also shows you an explanation of the colored underlines. The words in the document underlined in red are incorrect. There's an error. The blue ones are could be reworded for clarity. The green ones are for engagement, and the purple ones need to be changed for 
delivery. Now, I don't particularly like the purple. So one of the things you could do is you could actually select which one of these you want to look at. So I can just look for correctness, and that'll give me all of the red underlines. You can see that all the other colored underlines have disappeared. Now, in my document, there's some double underscore blue. This is Microsoft Word telling me about things that it doesn't like. Sometimes Grammarly and Word will disagree, and you'll have a battle between the two, and you'll have to pick one. So either to make a document copy edited, all you've got to do is come through and resolve all of these errors, move your cursor over it, and either accept or dismiss the error, or come down here and click on this little circle and do all of the errors uh, one at a time, or pick one that you're particularly interested in, like correctness. Maybe you're not interested in clarity, engagement, or delivery. And that's pretty much how to use Grammarly. Now, a few little tricks here is that Grammarly, the little icon, sometimes gets in the way. Well, you can grab this little corner here, and you can move the Grammarly symbol out of the way. Now, it will move around and usually get in your way anyway. So here's another thing that you could do. Right click on the number and you can turn Grammarly suggestions off in Word for one hour. Watch this. I turn them off, the little Grammarly symbol goes gray and all my underscores except for the word underscores are now gone. Click on it and Grammarly turns back on. And here's my Grammarly lines again. So. Use Grammarly to remove errors from your document, and you can temporarily pause it to get it out of the way. Definitely run the free version, but if you fall in love with Grammarly's, I'm sure that you will. You'll want to upgrade to the pro version to get all of its features.